Your deeds have been nothing short of legendary. With the plain meld at an end, Tamriel may yet endure. Now the time has come to confront Molog Bal and reclaim your soul. You must lead the five companions into this final battle. We are all of us prepared to sacrifice our lives to see this through to the end. Our plan is to use the Amulet of Kings to invest you with the power to do battle with the Daedric Prince. No doubt the God of Schemes has rallied his most powerful servants to his side, but his arrogance has already proven to be his undoing. He may not even consider you a threat. We shall endeavor to prove him utterly, catastrophically wrong. I'll never get used to this place. Come here, Vestige. I'd like a word before we skip off merrily to our doom. The time is at hand. Stop second-guessing yourself. Stop questioning your resolve. Just stand up and do it. You're this is it. The beginning of the blasted end. There's no point in pretending this isn't happening, or saying we're not ready. This challenge will not wait. Can you do what is necessary, no matter the cost? No matter how much it grieves you? There is always a choice. But you don't get to choose what is true. You only get to choose what you will do about it. Do you need a reminder about what lies ahead? We are approaching the fortress of Molag Baal, perhaps the most dangerous place in all of Oblivion. Together, we five are mighty. Even I will admit that. But I cannot invoke the ritual until we are in the presence of the Dark Prince himself. In exchange for this investiture of power, one of your companions will need to be sacrificed. It will be for you to decide which when the time comes. The infusion of power will not last for long. That's why we need to get close. And then what? I've no idea what will happen to you. Apotheosis? Disintegration? Too many unknowns and not enough information. But if you defeat Molag Baal and survive, your soul and the soul of every other surviving vestige should be restored. No matter how this ends, I'm proud of how far we've come and what we've accomplished. Courage, my friend. That is the most important of all virtues. Courage is not a lack of fear. Rather, it is the realization that there are things more important than fear. Here we are, Vestige. In the belly of the beast. And each of us carries within us an oblivion of his own making.
not by opponents. That was really surprising. My torment! Or is your appearance here a part of it? I am neither alive nor dead. I am trapped in a couch of ash and bile and swirling vapors. My ears are filled with the screams of a thousand nails being drawn. And the pain... The pain is endless. I am his plaything. And an abject lesson to others who would thwart him. My plan was flawless. My machinations were executed to perfection. I would have been a god if not for you. I... My only consolation is that you will know this pain soon enough. Arrogant, presumptuous, egotistical twaddle. A bit of costume jewelry is nothing compared to the master's power. I expect I'll be seeing you soon. My only joy for the rest of eternity will be hearing your tortured screams. After all that transpired, I killed you, you simpleton. I saw your life gutter and fade like a candle flame in a tempest. My undead servants drank your blood, and I reanimated you. You... Uh, I am... I am arrogant, presumptuous, eager after all that chance. No matter how this ends, I'm proud of how far we... Precisely what he deserved. Courage, my friend. You actually released me? Naive fool. If 
future generations will pay for your weakness. Are you insane? That worm didn't deserve your mercy. Why do I get the feeling we're going to regret this? Let us assemble and prepare the ritual. What do you suppose this place was? A temple of some kind. The Dark Anchors may have pulled it into Cold Harbor. Perhaps it was created by the Daedra to mock the Divines. What does it matter? We can't wait any longer. We must perform the ritual. Vestige, it is time for you to make your decision. Yes, this will be close enough, I think. Are you prepared? No one is more surprised than I. They are willing to sacrifice themselves to save the world, yet they will never hear a single word of thanks. A funny thing for a selfish man to say, isn't it? I'd better be careful not to learn anything from this. I've no idea. Speak to them. Let their own words convince you. ...is made, there is no turning back. The harvest of a... We've already been over this. You need an infusion of divine power to even consider challenging a Daedric Prince. The Amulet of Kings can give you that power, but at the cost of a life. The Amulet of Kings is a relic of Akatosh, the Dragon God of Time. His powers embody the qualities of perseverance and invincibility, while promoting the virtues of duty, service and obedience. Make of that what you will. Remember Vestige. We fight for our people. We fight for Tamriel. Evil might be kept at bay for a time, but it can never be completely eradicated. 
What is important is that we resist it, that we fight on and keep fighting. Very little. The scrolls can see many things, even possible futures, but they are not infallible and they will not make this choice for you. You cannot cross the sea simply by standing and considering the water. Be strong, Vestige, and act. There is no such thing as a safe choice. There are only other choices. Oblivion did not make me a monster. It has confirmed my own worst fears about myself. It would be fitting and honorable if you were to choose me. It would be a fine death. We've had some crazy adventures, haven't we? But adventures are what you call them when everybody comes back alive, so... Maybe they've come to an end. I don't regret any of it, though. Not for a moment. My father once told me that the most important thing anyone can know is what they would die for. I know that now. I feel like I've already lived a dozen lifetimes. I'm so tired. And I look forward to seeing my parents again in Sovngarde. If my death has meaning, then so will my life. It would be my great honor if you would choose me. I see that look in your eye, Vestige. I wonder, am I to be the one? I know that I would consider it a great honor. It would be a fine death. When you live each day as if it were your last, as I have, eventually you will be right. I was born to die a hero's death. I have always known this, and I have always been prepared for it. I once swore to protect my Emperor, and failed. I cannot allow him to sacrifice his life in my place, nor can I ask this of Lyris, my Snow Lily. She is more important to me than she will ever know. Please, give me this honor. Remember Vestige. We fight for our people. We fight for Tamriel. Evil might be kept at bay for a time, but it can never be completely eradicated. What is important is that we resist it. That we fight on, and keep fighting. Very little. There is no such thing as a safe choice. There are only other choices. Oblivion did not make me a monster. It has confirmed my own worst fears about myself. It would be fitting and honorable if you were to choose me. It would be a fine death. Position yourself over there, Vestige. Brace yourself. I'll never forget you, sire. Or your sacrifice. Great Akatosh, Dragon God of Time, forgive me for my hubris. Grant your divine power to the Vestige, and restore your protection to Tamriel. My sacrifice might not be in vain. History may not remember your sacrifice, but those present here will never forget it. Divines of Tamriel, with this vessel of your power, the Amulet of Kings, I call upon your strength. Let this noble sacrifice be a testament to our desire to set things right and restore balance to the Mundus. Your champion stands ready. Accept this offering and imbue this vestige with your glory. Let the will of Molag Baal be denied. <laughs> vestige, now is the time. You must ascend the path and face the Daedric Prince. You must face the God of Schemes alone. I will get the others to safety. Go!
Your continued meddling has reached an end, hero of Tamriel.
Guardian, you are less than nothing. Trinket can't defeat me. I am Molag Bar, Lord of Domination. What is this, infant? Do you think your talking can slay a god?
hostage. You are safe for now. Something precious to you has been riven from Stonefire's being. I have brought it here for you to reclaim. Congratulate you, little insect. Your sting is formidable. You have bested me and released a thousand times a thousand souls back into the Mundus. For the moment, your world is spared. But my grand scheme has only begun to unfold. Excellent. Your power shall prove useful in the coming conflicts. You've made a great and terrible enemy this day. Your world would have been better off if the plain meld had succeeded, had you bowed before me and accepted eternal servitude. I would have protected you. There are worse masters than I. Far worse. You are but a phantom here in my domain, Stonefire. The mortal prophecies of the scrolls have been fulfilled. Leave this place and return to your pit. You have a powerful ally. Did you know that she would bring you here? What future role has she to play in this grand cosmic farce, I wonder? Yeah. Your meddling has already cost me too much. A cursed creature of light and flame. 
This farce no longer amuses me. Your soul is restored. I can see its light within you. And you have saved your world from a great calamity. But know this, mortal. The forces of Oblivion are legion, and the God of Schemes is but a single player in a complex battle for supremacy. You have wounded him gravely. It will be some time before his power is restored. As your enemy fell, the one you call Abner Tharn took Chim El Adabal and fled. He returns to the land from whence he came, the place you call Cyrodiil. The amulet's power has been expended for a generation or more. The Imperial will not be able to use it, nor will he profit from it, though he will spend many frustrated years in the attempt. The tear in the veil between Oblivion and Nirn has been repaired. Your world is safe for now. Gone forever. But their memory remains. I can see the light burning brightly behind your eyes. Your friend is a part of you now, just as the strength of the Divines burns like a flame within your renewed soul. Your story has only begun. Molag Ball still has plans for you. In many ways, these events played out to his advantage. And you have attracted the attention of the other Daedric Princes as well. The war between mortal kingdoms is still ravaging your world. But your true enemies are not mortal. If you are to be prepared for the coming conflicts, you must fully comprehend what is at stake. You must live among those you make war upon. Indeed. When you return to Tamriel, go to the place you call the Harborage. My gift awaits you there. It will allow you to travel to other lands and hide your true nature from those who would see you as a foe. I have no more desire to keep you here than you had to remain in Cold Harbor. I shall return you to your little den in the wild. Your surviving companions await you there. Are you prepared to leave? Get here. I, I remember being overwhelmed, but then I. Right. Sorry about that. I called in a bit of help to pull you out of there. I do hope I didn't overstep my bounds. Snow Lily, I. I know, Sai. It's over. It's all over. Well then, happy endings all round. Smashing. Who's got the brandy? Wait. Where is Thorn? Did he survive? He vanished. Ran off, I think. And he took the amulet you chaps found with it. Honor and faith to you always, my friend. My part in this is over. You're not going to get all weepy with me, are you? I mean, I've got that stoic reputation to maintain. What now? For you, it seems there's more to do. For us... We've seen too much, my friend. Been through too much. I think it's time for us to go. 
Sai and I talked about it a few days ago. What would happen if we both survived? I'd like to go back to the Abbey of Blades with him, and help them rebuild. Maybe someday. It's not as though I'm dropping off the face of Tamriel. And if not, well, I'm sure there's a seat for you in Sovngarde. If you get there first, save me a cold mug of mead. So, this is where our roads diverge. For a time, there was much to rebuild there. And I owe it to Kasura to bring her the news of our victory, personally. Snow Lily and I, well, maybe we shall finally have some time to ourselves. To what end? No, let him return to his Imperial City. He played his role, and that is enough. Grudges are like poison to the spirit. But perhaps, once the Abbey of Blades has been rebuilt, I have never been content to remain in one place for too long. It is not my nature. Eventually, I am overcome by the need to endanger myself. Between comfort and adventure, I always choose adventure. I would like that. It has been a singular honor, Vestige. Although I suppose that name is no longer appropriate, is it? Varen would be proud of you. I know we are. Don't toddle off just yet. Might I have a word? I take it you ran into Lady Meridia. Lovely woman, charming. We get on famously. While you lot were having yourselves an epic row, I gave her a shout, asked if she'd be willing to help us out if things went badly. The trick of it was the timing. With every blow to that Daedric windbag, you freed hundreds of souls. She was able to catch yours before it wandered off. Jolly good trick, that. This is delightful. World saved, heroes gone their separate ways, and this knight has a new mistress to serve. Bravo. Couldn't be happier. Smashy. Truly. You know, that Varen fellow was always a good chap, even if he did muck things up at the start. And he did put things right. He's still with you, you know. A part of you, really. And perhaps he can continue to serve the land and the people that he gave his life to save through you. That's all well and done, then. There's just one bit of business left. I'm positively chuffed things have gone so well. To be completely honest, I didn't think we had a ghost of a chance. But then, if we went up against overwhelming odds, we wouldn't be heroes, would we? Still itching for more adventure? Smashing. Have you ever wondered what would have happened if you'd woken up somewhere else? Washed up on a different beach? My new mistress provided me with the means to help you if you're up for the challenge. Touch Meridia's light and see the world through the eyes of your former enemies. But fair warning, you will no longer be seen as a great champion. Even familiar faces will see you as a soulless drifter lost in an unfamiliar land. What say you?
got plenty of trouble of our own. Ah! Don't frighten an old man! I didn't think you were still breathing when they dragged you out of the drink. But here you are, plain as day. You owe a lot to the crew from Bleak Rock. A shame they didn't find anyone willing to help. Someone named Rana needs aid on Bleak Rock. She asked for volunteers, but we've our own problems in Davin's watch. No one signed up. Her boss and Lisa is down by the docks if you want to ask about it. Or you can stay here. Either choice means danger. <laughs>